Fast Food, Wikipedia Audio Fast food is a mass-produced food that is prepared and served very quickly. The food is typically less nutritionally valuable compared to other foods and dishes. While any meal with low preparation time can be considered fast food, typically the term refers to food sold in a restaurant or store with frozen, preheated, or pre-cooked ingredients, and served to the customer in a packaged form for takeout slash takeaway. Fast food restaurants are traditionally distinguished by their ability to serve food via a drive through Outlets may be stands or kiosks, which may provide no shelter or seating, or fast food restaurants. Franchise operations that are part of restaurant chains have standardized foodstuffs shipped to each restaurant from central locations. Fast food began with the first fish and chip shops in Britain in the 1860s. drive through restaurants were first popularized in the 1950s in the United States. The term fast food was recognized in a dictionary by Merriam-Webster in 1951. History According to the National Institutes of Health, Fast foods are quick alternatives to home-cooked meals. They are also high in saturated fat, sugar, salt and calories. Eating too much fast food has been linked to, among other things, colorectal cancer, obesity and high cholesterol. The traditional family dinner is increasingly being replaced by the consumption of takeaway, or eating on the run. As a result, the time invested on food preparation is getting lower and lower, with an average couple in the United States spending 47 minutes and 19 seconds per day on food preparation in 2013. The concept of ready-cooked food for sale is closely connected with urban developments. Homes in emerging cities often lacked adequate space or proper food preparation accoutrements. Additionally, procuring cooking fuel could cost as much as purchased produce. Frying foods in vats of searing oil proved as dangerous as it was expensive, and homeowners feared that a rogue cooking fire might easily conflagrate an entire neighborhood. Thus, urbanites were encouraged to purchase pre-prepared meats or starches, such as bread or noodles, whenever possible. In ancient Rome, cities had street stands a large counter with a receptacle in the middle from which food or drink would have been served. It was during post-World War II American economic boom that Americans began to spend more and buy more as the economy boomed and a culture of consumerism bloomed. As a result of this new desire to have it all, coupled with the strides made by women while the men were away, both members of the household began to work outside the home. Eating out, which had previously been considered a luxury, became a common occurrence, and then a necessity. Workers, and working families, needed quick service and inexpensive food for both lunch and dinner. This need is what drove the phenomenal success of the early fast food giants, which catered to the family on the go. Fast food became an easy option for a busy family, as is the case for many families today. In the cities of Roman antiquity, much of the urban population living in insulae, multi-story apartment blocks, depended on food vendors for much of their meal. The forum itself served as a marketplace where Romans could purchase baked goods and cured meats. In the mornings, Bread soaked in wine was eaten as a quick snack and cooked vegetables and stews later in papana, a simple type of eating establishment. In Asia, 12th century Chinese scarfed down fried dough, soups, and stuffed buns, all of which still exist as contemporary snack food. Their Baghdadi contemporaries supplemented home cooked meals with processed legumes, purchased starches, and even ready-to-eat meats. 
During the Middle Ages, large towns and major urban areas such as London and Paris supported numerous vendors that sold dishes such as pies, pasties, flans, waffles, wafers, pancakes and cooked meats. As in Roman cities during antiquity, many of these establishments catered to those who did not have means to cook their own food, particularly single households. Unlike richer town dwellers, many often could not afford housing with kitchen facilities and thus relied on fast food. Travelers, as well, such as pilgrims en route to a holy site, were among the customers. In areas with access to coastal or tidal waters, fast food frequently included local shellfish or seafood, such as oysters or, as in London, eels. Often this seafood was cooked directly on the quay or close by. The development of trawler fishing in the mid-19th century led to the development of a British favourite, fish and chips, and the first shop in 1860. A blue plaque at Oldham S. Tommy Field Market marks the origin of the fish and chip shop and fast food industries. As a cheap fast food served in a wrapper, fish and chips became a stock meal among the Victorian working classes. By 1910, there were more than 25,000 fish and chip shops across the UK, and in the 1920s there were more than 35,000 shops. Harry Ramsden's fast food restaurant chain opened its first fish and chip shop in Guizeli. West Yorkshire in 1928. On a single day in 1952, the shop served 10,000 portions of fish and chips, earning a place in the Guinness Book of Records. British fast food had considerable regional variation. Sometimes the regionality of a dish became part of the culture of its respective area, such as the Cornish pasty and deep-fried Mars bar. The content of fast food pies has varied, with poultry or wild fowl commonly being used. Since the Second World War, Turkey has been used more frequently in fast food. The UK has adopted fast food from other cultures as well, such as pizza, doner kebab, and curry. More recently, healthier alternatives to conventional fast food have also emerged. As automobiles became popular and more affordable following World War I, in restaurants were introduced. The American company White Castle, founded by Billy Ingram and Walter Anderson in Wichita, Kansas in 1921, is generally credited with opening the second fast food outlet and first hamburger chain, selling hamburgers for five cents each. Walter Anderson had built the first White Castle restaurant in Wichita in 1916, introducing the limited menu, high-volume, low-cost, high-speed hamburger restaurant. Among its innovations, the company allowed customers to see the food being prepared. White Castle was successful from its inception and spawned numerous competitors. Franchising was introduced in 1921 by A&W Root Beer, which franchised its distinctive syrup. Howard Johnson's first franchised the restaurant concept in the mid-1930s, formally standardizing menus, signage, and advertising. Pre-industrial Old World Curb service was introduced in the late 1920s and was mobilized in the 1940s when car hops strapped on roller skates. The United States has the largest fast food industry in the world, and American fast food restaurants are located in over 100 countries. Approximately 4.7 million U.S. workers are employed in the areas of food preparation and food servicing including fast food in the USA. 
Worries of an obesity epidemic and its related illnesses have inspired many local government officials in the United States to propose to limit or regulate fast food restaurants. Yet, U.S. adults are unwilling to change their fast food consumption even in the face of rising costs and unemployment characterized by the Great Recession, suggesting an inelastic demand. However, some areas are more affected than others. In Los Angeles County, for example, about 45% of the restaurants in South Central Los Angeles are fast food chains or restaurants with minimal seating. By comparison, only 16% of those on the west side are such restaurants. The National Employment Law Project wrote in 2013, According to a study by researchers at the University of California Berkeley, more than half of frontline fast food workers must rely on at least one public assistance program to support their families. As a result, the fast food industry business model of low wages, non existent benefits, and limited work hours costs taxpayers an average of nearly $7 billion every year. They claim this funding allows these workers to afford health care, food, and other basic necessities. Fast food outlets are takeaway or takeout providers that promise quick service. Such fast food outlets often come with a drive through service that lets customers order and pick up food from their vehicles. Others have indoor or outdoor seating areas where customers can eat on site. In recent times, the boom in IT services has allowed customers to order food from their homes through their smartphone apps. Nearly from its inception, fast food has been designed to be eaten on the go, often does not require traditional cutlery, and is eaten as a finger food. Common menu items at fast food outlets include fish and chips, sandwiches, pitas, hamburgers, fried chicken, french fries, onion rings, chicken nuggets, tacos, pizza, hot dogs, and ice cream, though many fast food restaurants offer slower foods like chili, mashed potatoes, and salads. Convenience stores located within many petrol-slash-gas stations sell pre-packaged sandwiches, donuts, and hot food. Many gas stations in the United States and Europe also sell frozen foods, and have microwave ovens on the premises in which to prepare them. Petrol stations in Australia sell foods such as hot pies, sandwiches, and chocolate bars, which are easy for a customer to access while on their journey. Petrol stations are a place that are often open long hours and are open before and after shop trading hours therefore it makes it easy to access for consumers. Traditional street food is available around the world, usually through small and independent vendors operating from a cart, table, portable grill, or motor vehicle. Common examples include Vietnamese noodle vendors, Middle Eastern falafel stands, New York City hot dog carts, and taco trucks. Turo Turo vendors are a feature of Philippine life. Commonly, street vendors provide a colorful and varying range of options designed to quickly captivate passers-by and attract as much attention as possible. United Kingdom United States Depending on the locale, Multiple street vendors may specialize in specific types of food characteristic of a given cultural or ethnic tradition. In some cultures, it is typical for street vendors to call out prices, sing or chant sales pitches, play music, or engage in other forms of street theatrics to engage prospective customers. In some cases, this can garner more attention than the food. Working conditions On the go Filling stations Street vendors and concessions Cuisine 
Modern commercial fast food is often highly processed and prepared in an industrial fashion, i.e., on a large scale with standard ingredients and standardized cooking and production methods. It is usually rapidly served in cartons or bags or in a plastic wrapping, in a fashion that minimizes cost. In most fast food operations, menu items are generally made from processed ingredients prepared at a central supply facility and then shipped to individual outlets where they are reheated, cooked or assembled in a short amount of time. This process ensures a consistent level of product quality, and is key to being able to deliver the order quickly to the customer and eliminate labor and equipment costs in the individual stores. Because of commercial emphasis on quickness, uniformity, and low cost, fast food products are often made with ingredients formulated to achieve a certain flavor or consistency and to preserve freshness. Chinese takeaways slash takeout restaurants are particularly popular in Western countries such as the US and UK. They normally offer a wide variety of Asian food, which has normally been fried. Most options are some form of noodles, rice, or meat. In some cases, the food is presented as a smorgasbord, sometimes self-service. The customer chooses the size of the container they wish to buy, and then is free to fill it with their choice of food. It is common to combine several options in one container, and some outlets charge by weight rather than by item. In large cities, these restaurants may offer free delivery for purchases over a minimum amount. Variants Sushi has seen rapidly rising popularity recently in the Western world. A form of fast food created in Japan, sushi is normally cold sticky rice flavored with a sweet rice vinegar and served with some topping, or, as in the most popular kind in the West, rolled in nori with filling. The filling often includes fish, seafood, chicken, or cucumber. Pizza is a common fast food category in the United States, with nationwide chains including Papa John's, Domino's Pizza, Sparrow and Pizza Hut. It trails only the burger industry in supplying children's fast food calories. Menus are more limited and standardized than in traditional pizzerias, and pizza delivery is offered. Kebab houses are a form of fast food restaurant from the Middle East, especially Turkey and Lebanon. Meat is shaven from a rotisserie, and is served on a warmed flatbread with salad and a choice of sauce and dressing. These donor kebabs or shawarmas are distinct from shish kebabs served on sticks. Kebab shops are also found throughout the world, especially Europe, New Zealand, and Australia but they generally are less common in the US. Fish and chip shops are a form of fast food popular in the United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand. Fish is battered and then deep fried and served with deep-fried potato strips. The Dutch have their own types of fast food. A Dutch fast food meal often consists of a portion of French fries with a sauce and a meat product. The most common sauce to accompany French fries is frites sauce. It is a sweet, vinegary, and low-fat mayonnaise substitute, that the Dutch nevertheless still call mayonnaise. When ordering it is very often abbreviated to met. Other popular sauces are ketchup or spiced ketchup, Indonesian-style peanut sauce or piccalilli. Sometimes the fries are served with combinations of sauces, most famously special, mayonnaise, with ketchup, and chopped onions, and overlog, mayonnaise and peanut sauce. The meat product is usually a deep-fried snack, this includes the fricandel, and the croquette. In Portugal, there are some varieties of local fast food and restaurants specialized in this type of local cuisine. 
Some of the most popular foods include frango asadu, france sinha, france sinha pavira, esptada, and buffanas. This type of food is also often served with French fries. Some international chains started appearing specialized in some of the typical Portuguese fast food such as Nando's. An example of a local form of fast food in Poland is pestasik zacisinski, a deep-fried yeast dough stuffed with meat or vegetarian filling, typical fast food dish of the city of Szczecin well known in many other cities in the country. A dish is on Polish list of traditional products. The first bar serving Pastasik Zacisinski, Bar Pastasik founded in 1969, is located on Wojska Polskiego Avenue 46 in Szczecin. Business A fixture of East Asian cities is the noodle shop. Flatbread and falafel are today ubiquitous in the Middle East. Popular Indian fast food dishes include Veda Pav, Pani Puri, and Ae Veda. In the French-speaking nations of West Africa, roadside stands in and around the larger cities continue to sell as they have done for generations a range of ready-to-eat, char-grilled meat sticks known locally as brochettes. In the United States, Consumers spent $160 billion on fast food in 2012. In total the U.S. restaurant industry had projected sales of $660.5 billion in 2013. Fast food has been losing market share to fast casual dining restaurants, which offer more robust and expensive cuisines. Due to this competition, Fast food giants have seen dramatic drops in their sales. While overall fast food sales have fallen, the number of Americans who eat in these restaurants once a month or a few times a year has risen. Advertising In contrast to the rest of the world, American citizens spend a much smaller amount of their income on food largely due to various government subsidies that make fast food cheap and easily accessible. Calorie for calorie, foods sold in fast food restaurants, costs less and is more energy dense, and is made mostly of products that the government subsidizes heavily, corn, soy, and beef. The Australian fast food market is valued at more than 2.7 billion GPB and is composed of 1.4 billion fast food meals. This includes meals serviced at 17,000 fast food outlets. The fast food market has experienced an average annual growth rate of 6.5%, which is the most rapidly growing sector of the retail food market. Employment Globalization Criticism In 2012, fast food restaurants spent roughly $4.6 billion USD on advertising campaigns, which represented an 8% increase from 2009. In the same period of time, McDonald's spent nearly three times as much on advertising as all water, milk, and produce advertisers spent combined. A study done by researchers from the Geisel School of Medicine at Dartmouth College saw results that suggest that when children watch more commercial television, they are more inclined to ask to visit these subsequent fast food restaurants. Specifically, Fast food restaurants have been increasing their advertising efforts that target black and Hispanic youth. Advertising on Spanish-speaking channels increased by 8% in 2012, with KFC and Burger King increasing spending in this demographic by 35% while cutting down on their regular advertising within English-speaking channels. The Council of Better Business Bureaus started the Children's Food and Beverage Advertising Initiative in 2006 which asked fast food companies to pledge to advertise only more healthful products to children with McDonald's and Burger King signing on. However, 
despite a slight increase in healthful food advertising, the effectiveness of this initiative has been disputed by studies that reveal that children couldn't remember or identify healthful foods in the ads, and that 81% of the 99 3- to 7-year-olds in that study recalled French fries even though there were no French fries in the advertisement. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, about 4.1 million U.S. workers are employed in food preparation and serving as of 2010. The BLS's projected job outlook expects average growth and excellent opportunity as a result of high turnover. However, in April 2011, McDonald's hired approximately 62,000 new workers and received a million applications for those positions an acceptance rate of 6.2%. The median age of workers in the industry in 2013 was 28. Obtaining Human Resource Management Diploma or Diploma in Fast Food Management can help to get a job in major fast food restaurants since it is one of the most desired. The employment rate for Australians working in the fast food industry is increasingly high with 17% of people working within the fast food sector in Australia. In 2007 17.000 Australian fast food outlets sold approximately 1.64 billion takeaway meals in that year. It is expected that more than $37 billion will be spent in takeaway food in Australia this year, making Australia the 11th biggest spending fast food nation in the world. This figure is an increase of $4 billion in just three years. In 2006, the global fast food market grew by 4.8% and reached a value of £102.4 billion and a volume of 80.3 billion transactions. Global fast food sales are projected to reach £239.7 billion in 2014. In India alone the fast food industry is growing by 41% a year. McDonald's has outlets in 126 countries on six continents and operates over 31,000 restaurants worldwide. One example of McDonald's expansion on a global scale was its introduction to the Russian market. In order for the American business to succeed it would have to be accepted and integrated into the daily lives of natives in Moscow. Thus, the restaurant was strategically implemented so that its offerings would align with the distinct and established foodways, also known as the customs around food, eating and cooking, of Muscovites. One significant characteristic of Russian food culture is the emphasis on knowing about the localness of goods that are consumed. Essentially, in order to successfully launch this American brand in a foreign country, McDonald's interpreted the local interests of consumers in Moscow by promoting the origins of the produce used in the restaurant. On January 31, 1990 McDonald's opened a restaurant in Moscow and broke opening day records for customers served. The Moscow restaurant is the busiest in the world. The largest McDonald's in the world with 25,000 feet of play tubes, an arcade and play center, is located in Orlando, Florida, United States. There are numerous other fast food restaurants located all over the world. Burger King has more than 11,100 restaurants in more than 65 countries. KFC is located in 25 countries. Subway is one of the fastest-growing franchises in the world with approximately 39,129 restaurants in 90 countries as of May 2009, the first non-US location opening in December 1984 in Bahrain. Wienervault has spread from Germany into Asia and Africa. Pizza Hut is located in 97 countries, with 100 locations in China.
Taco Bell has 278 restaurants located in 14 countries besides the United States. Fast food chains have come under criticism over concerns ranging from claimed negative health effects, alleged animal cruelty, cases of worker exploitation, and claims of cultural degradation via shifts in people's eating patterns away from traditional foods. The intake of fast food is increasing worldwide. A study done in the city of Jeddah has shown that current fast food habits are related to the increase of overweight and obesity among adolescents in Saudi Arabia. In 2014, the World Health Organization published a study which claims that deregulated food markets are largely to blame for the obesity crisis, and suggested tighter regulations to reverse the trend. In America local governments are restricting fast food chains by limiting the number of restaurants found in certain geographical areas. To combat criticism, fast food restaurants are starting to offer more health-friendly menu items. In addition to health critics, there are suggestions for the fast food industry to become more eco-friendly. The chains have responded by reducing packaging waste. Despite so much popularity, fast foods and fast food chains have adverse impacts not only on the job and social skills, but on the health and academic performance of students. 56% of students consume fast food on a weekly basis. The researcher of Fast Food Nation, Eric Schlosser, highlights this fact arguing that this is not only a financial but also a psychological bait. The students are lured towards this early employment opportunity knowing little that the time spent on this no-skill learning job is wasted. Two other researchers Charles Hirschman and Irina Voloshin highlight their dangerous impacts and consequences regarding hiring and firing of teenager schoolgoers in the fast food industry. Kelly Brownwell of the Atlantic Times has further supported this argument that another dangerous practice was adopted by Burger King and McDonald's for marketing to the innocent children. It has been found out in a research study conducted by two eminent professors, Professors Pertel Kelly and Jers Hoff. They found that the students of fifth grades, who ate fast foods as compared to the students of the same age after some other social factors were controlled. Also, the percentage of the students having consumed fast food and showed poor grades was around 11% than those who used organic foods. They are of the view that other social factors such as television watching, video games and playing were controlled to assess the real impacts of the fast foods. There have been books and films designed to highlight the potential dangers of fast food as it is mentioned heavily in regard to obesity. The film Supersize Me showed the negative health effects of excessive fast food consumption.